What's up, guys? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis, chilling in our Hollywood studio. And today, I think we have the most guests we've ever had at one time. And I cannot be more excited. It's C. Morelli. You guys know them from YouTube. And I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves to our audience watching. I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Lisa. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. And I'm Danny. And we're... Cimarelli. We didn't even practice that. It was so organic. I feel like I'm in one of your videos right now. So we've been following you guys for a long time, and I'm so excited that there's now an EP for all of your fans to buy. Talk to us about what people can expect from the EP. The EP is five covers, one original, and the original is called Million Bucks, and we all wrote it together with this awesome producer called Nephew, who has won three Grammy Awards. And wow. it was really exciting to work with him. And um, yeah, it came out last week. It debuted number six on the pop charts on iTunes. We were really excited about that. That's incredible. I mean, it's one thing to do covers, which you guys do an incredible job at. But releasing original music, were you guys nervous about it or just really excited to put that out there for the fans? I was nervous about it. I mean, it's really nerve wracking putting your original music out there because it's like kind of like putting your journal out there. You mm -hmm. don't know how people are going to react. And it's like from our heart. It wasn't just like we recorded a random song someone wrote, like we all wrote this together. So putting your original music out there is very nerve wracking for me at least. I think for some of them it was, but um, it was very nerve wracking, but it ended up being the most popular song on the whole EP. So that was really exciting too. Yeah. And the rest of the EP has covers, right? Yeah. Yeah. What covers um, can we hear on the EP? Um, we have Dynamite by Tyle Cruz, Jesse, or what am I saying? <laughs> Price Tag by Jesse by J. Jesse. Yeah. Um, Skyscraper by Demi Lovato, and What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction, and then we have a special Christmas cover, which is All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Oh my goodness, and I actually listened to samples of all the songs, and of course, the entire original song. And I'm curious to know, have any of you guys ever heard back from these people, these artists whose songs that you cover? Like, have oh. you heard from Demi or Jesse J? Oh, or? Justin Bieber commented us and yeah. tweeted us before. Yeah. 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 The tweet got deleted. Yeah. It was so sad. It was that time when a bunch of the tweets got deleted, mm -hmm. and then that tweet got deleted. So but what did the tweet say? I, you have to remember. He tweeted oh. our link and then he commented on on the video and said, He said, you like, guys did you guys did a good job. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. luckily we screen capped it. So we have. No, the com yeah, the comment didn't yeah, get we have We have yeah. a record of it. That's got to be so exciting, especially coming from someone like him who is an icon in the YouTube world. Yeah. So who would you guys say you really look <laughs> up to as far as artists that you want to or aspire to be like? There's no one like you out there though right now. Yeah. Yeah, There's that's not. The hard thing. You know? There's like no one t that we're like that our music <laughs> is like exactly like or anything, but we really look up to Taylor Swift. And um for like career path, we really enjoy like how she's a great role model and she's positive and we like that. But we also really look up to um, Justin Bieber's career, how he went from YouTube and then he was successful, made the transition. So we really like that. Those Selling things. out Madison Square Garden. Yeah. No, no big what? deal, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so your story is so fascinating. Take me back in time. I know you guys have been in LA in the area for a few years now, really focusing in on, you know, going all the way with your music. But like four or five years ago, what were you guys up to? How did this all start? Four or five years ago, we were kind of like just getting together the idea of a band. Christina originally thought of it. And then over the course of how long, maybe like a year, you kind of like roped us in and we kind of all came to the agreement. 2007 was when we officially formed the band. But, um, and you joined a little later, right? Yes. Did you have to audition? No. No, no? okay, cool, just checking. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, continue. She was a little bit later, <laughs> she was too young at the time. But um, we kind of just started playing together and we put up a cover of Party in the USA um, in 2009 on YouTube on our channel. And it ended up getting 20,000 views overnight. That's crazy. Yeah, because it got posted on a website called Ocean Up, which we mm -hmm. love. And um, it kind of just took off from there. We started playing gigs. We all learned instruments. And we've been then in the studio writing our first album the last two years. So we're very excited for that. And I love the fact, we were talking before the interview started about being sisters, and I have a sister. and. How does it work? Like, what is each of your roles? Because you know in a family, like, everybody has their roles. So, like, who's in charge? Who's the leader? Who's stirring yeah. things up? Like, yeah. break that down for we me. We always talk about this. Okay, 
So I'm the leader and like the bossy one, but then I also have a really like childlike side. So I'm either like being the leader or like provoking <laughs> Danny and I are like being kids provoking everyone. And then yeah. Catherine's kind of like the motherly one of the group I would say. And she likes and the, the mood. Okay. The jokester. Yeah. The jokester yeah. and the motherly one. She lightens the group when I'm like really angry. And you're like, come on, let's yeah. get together. And then Lisa's like a really creative one that helps a lot with the ideas. And then she's also like, um, what would you say? Lisa's a really clever one. Yeah, and, you're um, in the right place. <laughs> yeah, Lisa's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, the rock, you know, kind of like a rock in the group. Solid. And Lauren's the serious, serious one. Yeah, Lauren's the serious oh, one. I'm not that. Even though she's not. No, but out of all of us, you're the most serious. Okay, but yeah, I have to say, Lauren is hilarious. Like, we went to choir practice the other night, and Lauren almost got me in trouble because <laughs> I, Lauren was making jokes the whole time in my ear and saying, like, the lady next to me had a mustache. <laughs> and she I was. Did. We love you, lady. We love you. Yeah, I yeah. was cracking yeah. out. And I was. Oh, Lauren was just. And so. she was creeping on me from across, like, the chair section where we were sitting and singing. And she'd be like, <laughs> like, no, I'm just saying, love ya. So do you guys think you'll be doing any like dates, any performance dates coming up in 2012? Is there any tour plans or album plan for 2012, anything like that? Yeah, definitely yeah. want to tour. Our album comes out in 2012 sometime, not sure when. Mm -hmm. um, and then definitely want to start touring to promote that. But we, we really want to tour. That's like the thing yeah. we're the most excited for, meeting the fans and performing. We love performing. We all have like a big theater background. Okay. So we all love to perform so much. So that is something we're really looking forward to. So awesome. Are there going to be more original songs on the album? Or is it going to yeah. be a lot all of original? Yes. All original. Okay, yeah. so I'm assuming you've already recorded some yeah, songs? Yeah, we've already recorded over okay. like we're almost done. songs. Oh, wow. How are you going to narrow that down? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of really good songs. So, what's the inspiration for a lot of this music, and what's the sound and the vibe like? Real life, real life inspiration. It's a lot of personal stories mm -hmm. and things that we go through, or some of them we've written songs about things our friends have gone through and other stories. And it's a lot, the sound is kind of definitely pop, and then a little bit of urban, even a little bit of rock influences in some parts, and lots of soul and lots of harmonies, of course. Yeah, very very cool. We're so excited to have you here, and it was so nice to meet you. And I mean, if you're ever looking for another sister, I can't. <laughs> Oh, we're looking. We're looking. I mean, I can lip sync a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you can do all of our press. You can be like the leader for our interviews and it'll be great. Oh, I don't think you need me. You guys are great. <laughs> and we're so excited that you're actually going to perform. What song are you going to be singing in the studio for? Our original song, Million Bucks. Very, very cool. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to check out all the info in the info section below because we will have the link. And stick with Clever TV for all the latest on these fabulous ladies and all the rest of your favorite artists. I'm Jocelyn Davis. We'll see you guys next time.